Hey guys, what's going on? Rex here. I got some questions today in my chat channel on how did I create my little emoticon icon for Twitch, like this one here, where my dinosaur pops up when you type in the word Rex. Now, while this isn't across all of Twitch like you do with subscriber notifications, you can have them for your own channel. So what you need to do is need to go to manage.betterttv.net. It'll bring you to this. You connect your Twitch uh, account. It'll say authorize. You authorize it and it'll log you in. Next, you go to my emotes and you go to add. Uh, let's see here. Go to add. Okay. And you have to create three versions of your emote 28 by 28, 56 by 56, and 112 by 112. Here is my dinosaur that I used for my emoticon. So bring it into Photoshop. Make sure it's like a nice high def kind of picture because if it is blurry at all, it will the emoticon as a whole will be rejected by this process from Better Twitch TV and you'll have to go back and redo it all over again. So bring in a nice like high def 1920 by 1080 model that you have or picture. Go to image size and then resize it to like 28 by 28. Okay. Once you do that, save it. Save it and then close the file out and uh, reopen it back up in Photoshop again as a 1920 by 1080 and do the same process over and over again for 56 by 56 and 112 by 112. And the reason why you do this is because once you've resized an image on Photoshop, when you're trying to resize it to a different kind of ratio, it'll come out blurry. If it's blurry at all, it will be rejected. So somebody is somebody on their side is looking at your emoticon to see does it conform to the pixel uh, standards and does it look clear? And that is absolutely crucial. So do not skip over that. It might be a little extra work, but just do it. Close it, resize it, close it, open it, resize it, close it, reopen it. You only have to do it three times. It took me like less than five minutes to create my three here. So, you know, it's not too hard. Now, once you do that, you have your chat code. Type in whatever you want to. So we're going to say Kappa Bata, Kappa Bata. And then you can put your justification here if you want it, your email address, and hit submit. And once it goes into submittal, then you'll wait, you'll have a pending uh, emoticon here. So once you do that, you'll come here and you'll see like this is waiting. And now anything you do, even if you change this prompt to code, okay, if you change it, you'll have to go through a resubmittal process. So make sure you get it all right the first time. And of course, you can say let other use their emote, your emote on their channels. That's fine. I highly suggest you do it. It kind of nice. It kind of promotes, you know, community and all that other crap. But yes, that's really all you have to do to get your own emoticon. So go to manage.betterttv.net, resize it to those three sizes. Make sure you put your prompt code in. Make sure it's not offensive or anything stupid. Click uh, submit. It will go through a process. And once this status is live, go to better Twitch. Go to your Twitch channel, type in your prompt to code, and boom, you're off to the races. That is how you get your own emoticons on twitch.tv if you're not a partner uh, streamer. Hope this video helped. If you like it, Please share it, and if not, well, leave some comments, and I'll help, and I'll help, and I'll happily answer anything you have, uh, any questions you have about the process. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.